Oh, how's the feud between you and Ed, Ed Mitchell going? Uh, yeah, that's a good question. Um, so yeah, if you read in the in the in the paper, one it was seventeen, week? 17 a week ago. Yeah. A week ago. Um, yeah, Ed Mitchell and um, and uh, Mr. Wilbur um, were presented with parts of the book. Um, from a reporter, and uh, they weren't happy, and so it started some controversy, and that's whatever good for the book sales, I hope, and whatever. Um, Ed Mitchell, I think if Ed read my book, he would actually be more happy if he read the whole chapter about him. I think he would actually um, not enjoy all of the read, but um, not have it out for me, maybe. Um, like it might have been presented in the newspaper. Uh, I'll see him hopefully in New York when I go to the Big Apple Block Party barbecue in two weeks. He'll be there cooking. He hasn't been there for a few years. And I'll give him a book. Hopefully he'll accept it. That's all I want. I, I mean, if he reads it or not. But I think it's a fair portrait. Um, yeah. The, 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 the Ed Mitchell narrative is that he, um, oh, I won't say. I hope he reads it. Well, how, how do you portray him in the book? I, mean, I, I so I think I portray every, so this is a series of profiles, ten to twelve profiles, um, and uh, uh, I try to go warts and all. I mean, I spent a lot of time with these individuals and with these families. Um, I present Ed Mitchell as um, as how he presents himself, which is uh, a man in a costume, and he's described it in interviews as a costume. Um, so that is the overalls. The beard, the cap. Um, he calls it the pitmaster costume. Um, so I talk about that. Um, I talk about his his backstory, which I find completely fascinating. I talk about the way he cooks, which does not make sense to people who study barbecue techniques. They dismiss it as uh, quackery or magic. It shouldn't work. Um, but it's some of the best barbecue I've ever had, and every time I've had it. It is such. I don't understand how it works, but I'm not a big technique guy. But from what I understand, it, it works somehow. Um, I think the 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 most controversial thing about Ed Mitchell is he uh, he opens and closes restaurants at a rapid pace. And he did it in Durham last over two years ago. He did it with the Pit, and now the Pit has several locations um, without his, you know his persona attached to it, like like it was at the very beginning. And then his own place, um, Ed Mitchell's Barbecue. Uh, Ed Mitchell got in trouble with the law, and in his telling of that, in his narrative, it was because he was becoming, he became famous almost instantane instantaneously. He was a, he was uh, featured in the New York Times very prominently after his appearance at the Southern Foodways Alliance. Um, that was 10 years ago, uh, no, 15 years ago. He was started to cook all over the nation. He wanted to revolutionize whole hog barbecue by sourcing uh, heritage breed pigs. He'd be the first person to do that. And right after he had this big announcement, he, uh, he was arrested. He was indicted for uh, tax evasion. And he blames, in his, his telling, it on the the white barbecue establishment in his part of the state, which um, uh, has uh, I won't name these restaurants, but we know them. They've been there for a long time. They're immensely popular. They make a lot of money. And his telling, they got that going. And I, a lot of people who I've talked to dismiss that as oh Ed's just making excuses for his bad business pra practices. But I. I want to believe it, and I think he's right. And I think his identity as a black man in Eastern North Carolina, who got famous overnight, um, might have had something to do with his downfall. Again and again, perhaps I don't know. He might also be. A, I mean, he is also probably a bad businessman. Um, he's also, you know, he he's a complicated. I think he's a genius. I think that's. I was quoted in that article as saying he's a genius. I think he's a genius, and and like a lot of geniuses, there's like. There's highs and lows. I think he's wonderful. Every time I've met him, he's wonderful and complicated, which is what the best pitmasters should be, I think, and have been. <laughs>